Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Data Stage Demos. Today I'm going to take you through the hierarchical stage which you can see under the real time section of the palette. This stage can be used as an input, as an output, as well as a middle stage. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how you can read a JSON file and extract the data from it. This is a small job design that I have created wherein I have used the HD stage as an input. I also have a JSON file ready in the highlighted section and this I have placed in my local folder and named it as example. To begin with, let's click open the stage and go to the edit assembly tab. This opens up a assembly editor page. Now for this page to show up, you need to have Adobe Flash Player installed on your machine. Once you're here, go to the libraries, click open the new library tab and give a meaningful name to the library. You can also have a description and a category if you wish to. I will leave it blank for now. Once you have named the library, it's now the time to import the file. So the file is imported. Now go back to assembly editor tab and go to the palettes. Slowly drag the JSON parser step and place it in between input and the output step. Click the JSON parser step and give the file name along with the file path. Since I have just a single file, I have selected single file and have placed the file name along with the file path. Once this is done, go to the document root and specify the root. So you can see the JSON file structure here. Once this is done, go to the output step. Make sure that the link name is correct. And here, now you have to start adding your fields. From where are you going to get these fields? From your JSON file. So go back to the JSON file, copy the fields and add it here along with the data type length and any other any other features if you wish to for now i'm just going to add the field name the data type and the length the next field is geometry under geometry you have location under location you have latitude and longitude now here you can either Name the field as geometry underscore location underscore lat, geometry underscore location underscore lng, or you can just plainly name them as location underscore lat and location underscore lng. The data type as varchar, the data length as 10. The next field is a standalone field, location type. Similarly, you can proceed with adding all the remaining fields.
we are left with the last two fields. We're not considering the status. Give the data length as 50. Let me make this to 20. So once you have all these fields available here, go to the mappings and start mapping your fields. To begin that, the first thing that you have to do is map the link. Go to board, expand, and you can see address underscore components underscore anon underscore choice underscore zero. You just have to click OK, and your output link is mapped. So basically, why are we doing this? This you do it to map the source nodes and to make sure that it is from this source node the data is picked. Now going, going forward you can go ahead and map the remaining fields. So you have the formatted address, Next is the location latitude and location longitude field. Now you have to map the place ID. And the last field types. So once you're done with place ID, you go back to the main link, the parent link, and change the mapping to types underscore in on underscore choice underscore zero and then map the field types to the string value you have to do this else you will get an error so once your mapping is all complete Click OK. Compile the job. And execute it. So we have one record sent to the output file. Let's view this file. Yeah. So 
this is the result that we have received that we have seen this is the result that we are seeing you can verify it with the json file that you have the formatted address here is 1600 amphitheater parkway mountain view ca94043 usa and the similar the same value is also present in your output file similarly you can see the location latitude location type and verify the other details as well hope this video was helpful do leave your comments in the comment section. Thank you and have a great day ahead.